Hi guys and welcome to myfitnessbiz.co.uk getting started with WordPress bonus tutorial videos and uh, this one is actually linking PayPal to Aweber so this is a part two in a two part series and it's basically to answer a question that I asked on Facebook the other day so let's get going so on Facebook on Friday I asked people to send in sort of a what do they need answering about their online fitness business this was a thing for me because I wanted to create at least 60 minutes worth of free video tutorial content this weekend um, I'm on Sunday evening now and I think I'm getting close to 60 minutes so hopefully this will take me over the top and Sally4 asked how to link up PayPal to your website so that you get an autoresponder straight out to the customer so Sally4 is um, the owner of Fitness Business Hub. If you don't know it, check it out. She's also a social media guru, so I highly recommend checking out some of her stuff, and that's specific to the fitness industry, so it's pretty cool. So in the first part, and I posted it up yesterday, I showed you how to create a Buy Now button, and today I'm going to show you how to link that Buy Now button to your Aweber autoresponder. If you don't know what Aweber is, um, I'll try and briefly explain it now. It's a email marketing service where you can create autoresponders, i.e. emails that automatically get sent out based on an action that you tell it to do. So for this example, if somebody uses the Buy Now PayPal button, um, once it goes through to payment, it automatically links up to Aweber and sends out the first new autoresponder sequence. So that's important if you want to, say, send out a free ebook or, sorry, a paid-for ebook that you want to link up. I'm not saying this is the best way of doing it, but it is a very easy way of linking up um, the sale of a digital product through to PayPal. So let's get started. I'll come out of this slideshow and I'll go across to Aweber. So I've logged into Aweber here. I'll put the link to Aweber below. It is an affiliate link as always, but I do recommend it and I do use it myself, obviously. Okay, so I um, got the list that I want to add it to. So at the moment, it's the MFB ebook sign up list. I haven't created a new list for this tutorial, so I'm just using a sort of uh, old one that I've got. And what I want to do is I want to cr uh, link up the buy now button that I created on PayPal in the previous tutorial to this email responder list. So what I do is I've logged into Aweber and I go across to my apps in the top here. And when that loads, we do is scroll down. It's got the app showcase. So you're looking for PayPal. What you can do is you can click enable on PayPal, and this basically is allowing a connection between PayPal and Aweber. So it's asking them to sign uh, to talk to each other, basically. But it will not share your bank information, card information, or password. So it's done through an o author authorization code. So don't worry about them uh, sort of giving away any personal details they don't share that information it just allows them to talk to each other in terms of cross sending across uh, the information that we're going to tell them to send across so I'll log in to my PayPal account to verify it and then what I want to do is I want to grant permission so you can have a read of this but it's basically saying that it's in your within your right um, that you grant uh, that you grant it and you can uh, revoke it any time so but definitely do read it, I've just read it before. <laughs> okay, so now it's redirecting me back to Aweber. Unable to communicate with PayPal at this time, please try again. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's try that again. Maybe I put in the wrong password or something along those lines. So I enable PayPal again. Grant permission. Redirection to back to Aweber. Communications. There we go. Worked that time. Brilliant. So, add customers to mailing list and then buy products from receive PayPal. So, one, connect Aweber to PayPal. Verify we've done that. Two, enable PayPal notifications. So, what I need to do is I need to log into my PayPal account. And make sure I follow the instructions here. So, let me do that for you. So, go along to paypal.com. Okay, now follow the instructions. So, if I go back and it says, go to the instant payment notifications page in your PayPal account. 
So I'll click that and see if it takes me through to it. it does. Then click choose IPN settings. So I click that. Then I want to receive IPN messages. So I get rid of that and I go back into the Aweber. It should have opened a new tab really, but hey ho. There you go, it's telling me here that I need to update the apps. Scroll back down to Poi PayPal. Click View Connected Apps. Follow the instructions. So choose PIPN. Copy this notification URL. So highlight, right click and copy. And paste it into the notification URL. Paste. Click Receive IPN Messages here. And press Save. There you go. So now the webhook is allowed and it's enabled for the message delivery. Fantastic. So I can go across to PayPal uh, to back to Aweber now. It's done that. Choose your list. So this third part now is where you want to choose uh, your list. So when someone makes a purchase, add them to the specific list. So like we say, right now, this is a default option. So I'm going to choose generally to them to sign up to the MFB ebook sign up. But actually, I want to add people to different lists based on the product they buy. So you've got to make sure this one is enabled. And this is where we create the rule. So like you see here, if you scroll down, you'll see all of the PayPal buttons that you've set up in the previous uh, tutorial, i.e. the buy now test button. If you haven't seen it, then it will make sense if you watch it. So we click the buy now test button. And when people pay through that button, it subscribes them, subscribes the customer to, and then you choose the email list that you want them to sign up to. So in this case, we want MFB ebook sign up. Then we click add. And there we have it. So there it is. So now when people go through and buy through the, the PayPal button, it automatically subscribes them to that mailing list. If you've then got an autoresponder set up for that mailing list, it will send it out to them instantaneously once they've verified their uh, willingness to accept it. Now hopefully that was um, pretty handy for you. If you don't know how to set up autoresponders, then I'm actually working on bringing out a product, an end-to-end -end how to use Aweber and AW Pro Tools tutorial guide. Um, but if you, you hit me up in the comments below, then I'll be able to talk you through um, via text. But that's it for now. and. Uh, as always, if you've got any more questions, comment below or email me at liamtrump at gmail.com. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.